Okay, I'm going to weave in two ends, but I've, I've joined a new yarn in the middle of the row. So to make sure I don't get a hole in the middle, I loop the yarns around each other. So they're basically, you can see that, they're kind of looped around each other like that. And then basically I'm going to weave them in, one going that way and the other one going that way. So I turn to, this This is garter stitch, so I choose the, the pearl bumps and I try and make sure I stay on the same row. Now how far I go depends on um, how um, slippery the yarn is. And then I just pull a little bit gently on both ends to make sure that um, I get rid of that hole. But then I pull the fabric as well to make sure that I don't pull too tight, so tighten it up too much. So now I'm going to go a few stitches back. So I'm going to go on the same row that I wove in the first time. Like that. Now I don't normally go all the way back and usually I'll go a few stitches that way and then I'll usually go about halfway back. This yarn is a bit slippery so I've gone a bit further back than I normally do. And then I will just give the fabric a stretch to make sure it's not too tight. And then... Now I don't cut the yarn completely flush with the fabric because I do have to uh, weave in the end. Um, I do have to block this. So now I'm going to do the other one. So that one is going to go the opposite way. Now here you've got bumps going that way and then you've got bumps going that way. So what I'll do is I'll go one over that way through the top bumps and then back through the bottom bumps. Except I'm actually going to do one row up. Um, so go into there, 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 there. Oh, hang on. that a little bit too tight so I'll just pull the fabric to make sure that it's um, not too tight. Check on the other side that you got rid of the hole and then I'm going to go a few stitches back again. So then I'm going to do on the other half the other bumps on that same row like that and then I just pull the yarn through. Now you don't want your um, ends to be, whether you weave them in to be too bumpy, you don't really want the fabric to be too much thicker. You can feel it, but you don't want it to be too much thicker than the rest of the fabric. And you want them to be secure. But most importantly, you want to make sure that they're not seen from the right side of the fabric. Okay. And then because I'm going to block this, I don't cut it completely flush with the fabric. Some people don't cut them at all. Uh, and they'll cut them after blocking. I prefer to cut them before blocking. But when I block it, it will stretch and that will make those pull in a bit and I don't want them to go too far back. So that's why I leave it a little bit longer. If I need to, I can trim them later. So that's how I weave in my ends when I joined yarn in the middle of a row.